horrors! cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled. Plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travels. He peered into the room through its leaves. He jerked his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I am sunk. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled, and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh! said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough. Percy was sunk. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Ooh, she hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Help me! Please! Just like this, he boasted. He rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was, but there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. And into a field. No one was hurt, but poor Gordon felt very undignified. What will the fat controller say? He groaned. He found out soon enough. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. They got out just in time. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but Henry lay dazed and surprised. Through the station they thundered, disaster lay ahead. Something sticky splashed all over James. He had run into two tar wagons and was black from smoke box to cab. He was more dirty than hurt. But the tar wagons and some trucks were all to pieces. Wait, it suddenly snapped. Help! He yelled. Glug, 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 he said. Bluggle, my bloiler. Duncan felt foolish and very wet. Now for our plan, giggled the trucks. Go faster, go faster. Slow down, called Thomas's driver, and applied the brakes. Poor Thomas stood dazed and surprised in a muddy pond as a toad eyed him suspiciously. Bust my buffers, muttered Thomas. The day started so well too.